Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you may be. Uh, CC here, Chris, from New York, Westchester County. Uh, today is November 2nd, 2018. And a couple things I just want to cover with you. Um, well, if you have not noticed, Google's playing uh, games with my channel, of course, and many others, too, uh, between the likes and the dislikes. So um, They are scared of me. <laughs> don't be scared. I don't bite. They are scared of me, obviously. And they're scared of a lot of other people, too, because I've noticed the same thing on their channels. But don't give up, guys. It's just them playing games against us, you know? And when it comes down to the trolls, there's no point of even acknowledging their existence. Because if you try to block them, they just open up another account and uh, <laughs> come back. I've seen it. I actually could tell you the people that are on there now and who they were about three months ago. You know, it's, 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 a, it's a little game we like to play. It's nice. Uh, catch the mouse. All right, anyway. Um, I want to quickly cover uh, rockets. And, um, you know, well, we, we all know there's no space and they're going in the ocean somewhere or maybe disintegrating in the atmosphere. I don't know. I don't know where these things go, but I'll tell you, there's one expensive cemetery somewhere around there, um, if they do. People say the Bermuda Triangle, quite possibly, you know, because every time somebody goes in there, they disappear. <laughs> wow. Did, did anybody know, also know that there's a naval base down there, too? I bet you didn't know that. The media doesn't cover that. No, they're not going to say anything about that. Um, anyway, my point is with rockets, let's just for argumental sake, say there is space, okay, and these things can get up there and float around in space. How do rockets work? Oh, it's in a concealed container and that's combustible. Bullshit. I don't buy it. That's a lie. Can't do that. Even if they could work in space, in a vacuum, that is, where would they go? How are they controlling? Do they have a big steering wheel on? Oh no, it's the computer that's uh, uh, steering the uh, <laughs> the rocket, right? You know, so you're telling me that the balance of a rocket in weightlessness space, when you blow something off that's 300 feet long, it doesn't go around in a circle. It's like a little bottle. You remember those little bottle rockets we used to blow off, and, and you know the stick would break. And you still light it, and you just go like that in, uh, in, in the uh, on the floor. That's exactly what a rocket would do, you know. I mean, it's impossible. They're, oh, wait a minute! You're telling me there are rockets on the side. That's how they get the trajectory right. They just blast off the little rockets. It's done automatically through this computerized system. Well, that must be some fucking smart system. And then we, you tell me we had that back in 1969? No, I don't think we did. I really don't. I really don't. Oh, God. I mean, it, it's just, it, 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 it's it's funny to me, you know, to think that, well, whatever. I mean, it, it it's, it's such a ridiculous statement, you know. And, and then, you know, just think about the scientists, okay, who are these smart, educated people that still to this day can't tell us what dark energy is. And it makes up 90% of, of space. We don't know what it is. We went to school. We didn't learn anything about it because nobody knows what it is. So we'll just call it dark matter. That's what's holding everything together. And that's how solar systems, and galaxies, and, and, you know, everything is held together in space by this magical dark matter like gravity, which we can't explain either. One lie after another lie. I think a scientist should really be branded a used car salesman, you know? He might be very good at calculus, and a lot of us are too, but we're not scientists. So what makes them a scientist? Really, if they can't explain to me what dark matter is, and if they can't explain to me how rockets work in a vacuum of space, if they can't explain to me how a spacesuit doesn't blow up like a balloon in space, you're useless to me. All your degrees all your MDs and doctrines mean nothing. They mean nothing. It's a piece of paper. It's like a marriage license. It's just a piece of paper. That's all it is. They know nothing. I'm convinced, so just wanted to throw that out there for the weekend. It is Friday. Um, 
couple things. I had that interview yesterday with that woman. I'm not going to get into her name or anything like that, but, uh, you know, it went pretty good. It's just, you know, typical questions that people ask, you know, first timers and flat. Well, she's not a flat earther, but, um, first time people are introduced to flat earth and just the basic everyday questions. You know, how did you come into it and whatever? I, I didn't even bother recording it. I'm going to, actually, I'm going to see her in a few days. So, um, I'll ask her where it's going, and then maybe I can get a transcript or something like that. But, I mean, really, it's just basic questions. I've covered all this shit long, long time ago, you know? I mean, it, it's it's just basic questions that people ask every day. Uh, but it's good to keep you, you on your toes, you know, because you remember, when you speak to people that are not flat earthers, you've got approximately three minutes and 30 seconds. That's it. That's about how much of an attention scale you have with somebody. And if you lose them in that, forget it. They're never going to go look or investigate or research anything. I, I like pictures. I really do. I think pictures say a thousand words, you know. And we all grew up with pictures and picture books when we were kids, you know. And still to this day, some adults prefer looking at pictures <laughs> while they're reading. So... You know, I mean, I, I think that's that's a good way to start a conversation or pictures, you know. Um, and also a vanity plate or something like that, if you can think of a good one, there are plenty out there. But, you know, these are, are now everybody at the college that she goes to is, if she does do what I think she's doing, uh, writing a paper about this, um, I did give them my YouTube channel, so ex expect a lot more trolls, guys. <laughs> They're going to be bashing me shortly. It's going to be nice. Nice to see. Uh, so, anyway, I had a conversation also with somebody else who reached out, reached out to me. Uh, down in Florida, I just want to give him a heads up. He'll probably leave a comment. Um, great conversations. You know, that's what you got to do with people. You've got to, you know, put yourself out there, get your number out there. People will call. Not a lot, but they'll call. You know, and, and that's what you got to do. I mean... This is what we're all here to do. We're not here to play fun and games, you know. I mean, we're here to tell people the truth. I like to have fun. I know I do a lot of yelling and screaming. But, I mean, it, it, how could this not piss you off? A fucking rocket up in space. I mean, really, guys, come on. You know, gee, it, it's, it, it's, it's just everyday basic shit that you can debunk, you know. And, I, I mean, still, not one, one person who bashes my channel has ever gone down to the ocean, has ever gone and tried to even look at one of the boats and zoom in on it and see that there's absolutely nowhere that they're going. I mean, they get further enough away, the atmosphere eventually makes them disappear, but they're not going anywhere. <laughs> not one of them. You know, so let it be the way it is. That's just it. Um, all right, well, I'll definitely see you on Monday. I might make something over the weekend if I have some time. Uh, there's a couple other things I, I want to, of course, talk to you about that I was watching in videos. Uh, well, you know what really pisses me off? One other thing, too, before I uh, end this conversation. Another accident. There are accidents all over the place. It rains a little bit, and people drive like lunatics. I, I call them seasonal drivers. Anyway, um, if you come up with a YouTube channel that bashes Flat Earth, you automatically become a hero. Uh, that's just the way it is, you know, I mean, automatic, so if you want to make some money, just go bash Flat Earth, and you'll probably get 100,000 subs within a six-month period, where people who actually are into Flat Earth uh, just struggle just to get past a couple of thousand, you know, so there you go, you know it's all bullshit, you know it's all being monitored by Google, uh, I mean, this is just everyday stuff, look at the channels, you'll see what I'm talking about. Uh, there are plenty of people that are doing the same thing that I'm doing, you know, and, and look at their look at their progress, you know, see how slow it is, and then look at some of the progresses, uh, uh, progression of, of other channels that are bashing YouTube channels, and, and you'll see, there's something to matter with that picture, you know, I mean, really, come on, guys, this is common sense, and yes, this is not, um, what are they called, nail polish, I squashed my finger the other week on one of the wheelchairs when I... I always wear gloves, but this time I didn't wear gloves. Retracted the wheelchair, it squashed right on my finger. It hurts like a bitch. It's going to go away. We'll all watch it go, you know? <laughs> Don't you love it? Anyway, I haven't done this in a long time to myself. I think it was like 15 the last time I did it. But 
All right, well, have a good weekend, guys. Um, I thank you for subbing. I thank you for uh, viewing my videos. And uh, I thank you for uh, letting me be a part of your life. Okay?